That's a rad zombie, yo. Oh my. Goodness gracious, look at it. Look at it in all of its terrifying beauty. That is an irradiated zombie. I'm pretty sure that can absolutely mess us up. Oh my god, what is happening? Okay, you know what? Wait, excuse- where'd my- Oh my god! Welcome back to another episode of 7 Days Denial of 18.4. Today we return, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, on the other side of the craziest horde night to date. Star, why? Well, let me tell you why. Look at all these blade traps over here that, well, were one of the main reasons we even survived in conjunction with all of these spike traps. Seriously, last video was a banger. If you did not check it out, I guess, spoiler alert, we survived, but it was a freaking crazy night for so many reasons, and we already have done a few big repairs over here i believe we got to get a few more done as well but we've been spending so much time preparing our base for that day 21 horde the next major horde we got to worry about is not until day 28 and for that we want to be very ready we are gonna have even more blade traps i want the entire place surrounded nay encased in these marvelous things and hopefully we can also work our way through the magic of uh leveling up which we did quite a little bit thanks to all the zombie murdering we did we got four skill points ready to go. We need skill points for a little thing known as the inventor skill that is going to unlock short range shotgun turrets, automatic shotgun turrets. However, we got to level up intellect a few times, bada bang, bada boom. There you go. We're at level seven. Once we toss on our proper glasses, we will be at level eight, which will give us the ability to buy the inventor skill. So we got to level up. We got an adventure, and after, well, listen, we've been doing a lot, and I mean a lot of base building, so we're gonna take a little bit of a break from the base building, and it's adventure in time, lads and lassies. We also found a map, the map of Nicole. Nicole had a treasure map, and Nicole is gonna take us to where the goodies are. And that makes me actually think, where is this treasure, by the way? Hopefully it's not too far away. Nicole? Where's your treasure, baby? Oh! It appears to be over in the top right-hand corner. I think there's actually an airdrop over there or something that I forgot about a while ago, too. So before we go treasure hunting, because this treasure can have some really good stuff, uh, if we're going treasure hunting, I'm going to grab my favorite power tool. Y'all can also see we have organized our inventory a little bit, put away a lot of the loot and all that jazz in. We are bringing out the hunting rifle, which we pretty much fashioned into like a bit of a sniper rifle here. It only shoots one bullet at a time, but it's pretty powerful. It does 102 range damage with some really powerful weapon mods. We got our SMG and our shotgun rain. We're ready for some adventure, baby. But first, let's bring our favorite. That is the auger. Is that the auger? That's we like to use. I think so. We don't have a better auger, right? No, the chainsaw is the better tool that we have. That's one of the few things, man. We seriously got to work towards getting an upgraded or just getting like higher quality uh, power tools. Because y'all can see over at our toolbar at the bottom, we got a lot of level four and level five, like weapons and basic tools. But some other stuff is uh, in need of some repairs. Also, we got to check on this because last we left off, there was a problem problem the trader disappeared i saw a lot of comments saying it's because i left the door open and the trader died to zombies that's not how the trader works guys uh the trader cannot die to zombies so either hopefully it was just like a glitch and the trader still exists or we are absolutely well we've got a little bit screwed over I really hope that it was just a glitch last time around, and this time around will be A-OK, -okay, traitor. Let's go, baby! He's back! What up, Joel? You got any work? You have no work whatsoever, so I gotta get some jobs done for you. That's A-OK. -okay. I'm just glad to see that you're alive, buddy. So happy to see it. Besides that, let's go ahead and check out his inventory really quickly. Ooh, the gyrocopter chassis. We can afford that, and that's half of the battle to building the helicopter vehicle we also got to get the gyrocopter accessories which we actually i think can already craft oh my oh my oh my trader joel what's your inventory refresh day 25 okay well we got a few days to think it over but i'm pretty sure 
Actually, hold on. I want to check out some of his like normal stuff too. See if he has like anything else decent for sale over here. What is this? What is this mod? 20% chance to cripple a leg on a bipedal target. That sounds absolutely savage. Um, do you want to buy anything from me? So I, I actually, I'll probably just have to come back and buy some of the stuff. I didn't bring money with me and there's a few resources we might want to buy up too, but electric fence post, dude. Those might be pretty cool for building up some base defenses, but all right, Joel, thank you for the hospitality. I think I also did, if I'm not mistaken, there we go. We had a little bit of concrete mix that we've been mixing on up. A very essential raw resource that we got to use to upgrade our walls. And as we continue surviving further and further, every seven days, another horde comes a knocking. And every seven days, that horde gets harder. At a certain point, I believe the zombies get so tough that if we don't have the maximum leveled upgraded wall, our wall can literally get blown up by like the top tier zombie. I forget, I think it's called like the demolisher zombie, like the demolisher, the English is hard. The demolisher or something like that. Also, I don't, I'm not, I don't really feel like dropping things off. Let's go straight into that adventure, baby. So yeah, I'm a little bit terrified of the prospect of that. I'm not gonna lie, but yeah, we'll make do. We shall make do. But hopefully everyone's having an absolutely incredible day of the most amazing variety that only keeps on getting better from here on out. Whether that be from the video, bringing you a smile, bringing you a giggle, anything, everything like that does not matter to me how a little bit of joy can go ahead and uh, make its way into your day today. I'm just crossing my fingers that indeed they do. That's exactly what it does. Do. Hit. Do. Do do. Do 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 do. <laughs> I don't know. I said do do and then it turned into a jingle. Hit. Well, hopefully you got a giggle out of that. All right, well, on to more serious matters, though. We still do have to worry about those base defenses, but, man, we've been doing so much focus on base defenses that it's nice to take a little bit of a break, and we're having a bit of a bit of a looting break here. That's why we're going to go get this treasure chest. We might knock out this quest that we're pretty nearby as well. And, man, we seriously might be able to finesse building a gyrocopter because we are out of gas i forgot this thing had almost nothing luckily i got a little bit of fuel that that thing just ate all of my fuel well that's unfortunate we might need to get a little bit more fuel um because does my auger have any ammo in it <laughs> auger please tell me you have ammo inside of you you don't most unfortunate. Okay, excuse me. I just got to break into the local oil refinery here so I can get some gas. Because I am literally out of gas. <laughs> but at least we figured that out literally at the the perfect location. Hello, Zambus. Why don't we go and try out this little sniper rifle here? Ho-ho! I love this thing. Yeah, I'm very happy that we found this thing. It's a jolly old time. A little bit hard with some of the zombies that like to wiggle waggle their heads. But that's where we got shotgun rain. Oh, we got a runner. All you're doing. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. You're just run into your doom. Yeah, and also the longer we survive, the zombies in the world just tend to get harder and harder too. So seriously, the fun only continues the longer that we survive. And it's literally, if I could just get some gas from this sedan, bro, like I don't need a lot, just a little bit because we're going to have to get some digging done to get that treasure chest. Okay, in the bottom right hand corner, y'all can see a lot of the supplies we are collecting. It looks like we're going to end up with around, I want to say... Little under, hello, we got a lot of you guys. Step right up, step right up, dear friendly neighborhood. Shotgun rain, all right, with that shotgun rain. We got the guy in the back there. Ooh, that was a twofer. We hit him with the twofer. You got to die on your own, buddy. Hope that's okay. Also, I probably should have my nerdy glasses on because we're not, see ya, in the middle of, of excited my lucky goggles on right now and we don't really need to have those on unless we're in the middle of looting speaking of which oy vey i forgot i blew this place up <laughs> so yeah there's not a lot of gas barrels that right there that's where a lot of the gas barrels were until i blew that place up but we got the little bit of gas and I forgot that we really shouldn't... Oh, man. I, I do need to get some more gas, man. I'm not going to lie. Gas is a pain in the butt at times. But YOLO. We got this treasure chest over here. And y'all, yeet, big hit. Love running over some Zamzams here and there, too. But yeah, it's just going to be good to get a little looting adventure done. I reckon we might actually head out west to the desert. Bro, this thing eats away at gas, by the way. Like, we're already down to 13%. I really should have brought my mini bike, although we are off-roading to the max here. This treasure chest better have some really good goods to make up for it. 
But yeah, adventuring and just doing quests is a really good way for us to get experience. Oh my god, what is happening? Okay, you know what? Wait, excuse- where'd my- Oh my god! Okie dokie. A plus parking job. <laughs> what, dude? What was that? I don't even want to know. I'm happy the car went on a quick little fly without me. That's definitely not something I would have wanted to be included on. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll leave that there. I'll just head over here. We'll see what's in this chest uh, on our own some. Don't want to bring that thing all the way up here. This is where the gyrocopter would be awesome, by the way. But yeah, speaking of which, we are definitely getting that gyrocopter built up because let's go treasure chest right here, baby. Oh, mama. That's some expensive goodies. Dude, that's like $3,000 worth of stuff and a pocket. I love it. That right there. That's why I'm a sucker for treasure chests, baby. And there is... I don't have the gas for it right now. We gotta... We gotta set up a little western expedition... Or eastern expedition here. There's another treasure chest we got. Honestly, we got a lot of things out to the east that we gotta knock out. Problem is, is that it's a nice little hike away. Once we get that helicopter, though, because I'm not gonna lie, we can, we've saved up enough money to afford the one helicopter part we saw earlier. And just by the look of these icons, I think that we have learned through a perk or through a book, not through the perk, but probably through a book we read how to create the accessories and the gyrocopter itself, just not the chassis. So if we can buy the chassis, like I think, we can actually assemble this thing at a workbench, which would be crazy. And really, like, I think with his accessories, we should be able to craft up. Hopefully we have enough headlights. Besides that, looks pretty reasonable. We have engines, we got car batteries. We might need to find a few wheels, but ladies and gentlemen, not to get your uh, hopes a little bit too high already here, but uh, actually, hold on. I do wanna, oh my God, we just, ow! My goodness gracious, this thing is an animal today. <laughs> I was gonna say, what is this icon here? Because I put, usually what I do is right. I have this little icon map thingy my bob there. Does that, like, I think I put that there because somewhere around here there's an airdrop. Because usually that's what I do. I just toss that little flag where the airdrop is. So we'll get a little bit of running there to knock that out. But hello, speaking to the devil. We got an airdrop over there for sure. Let's definitely map that literally in the middle of town. Uh, I will just save that airdrop. Gotta love that. Hey, buddy. Oh, a little bit of target practice. Boop. Ho ho. Sayonara, mother trucker. Let's toss that on. Oh, that was a strange glitch for a second there. And is that what I think it is? Or is that just like a, a marker? Well, I don't think I've ever been here though. Like, there's got to be a reason here, because as you guys are looking on the map, that's uncharted territory. I do not believe I've ever been here, which makes me think it might be an airdrop that I'd never collected. And I don't think airdrops despawn, so we'll investigate this and whatever reason I had for putting it here. And if there's nothing, so be it. I'll take the L and skedaddle on back uh, to my uh, Jeep. No, we're, we're like right on top of this place, man, and there's literally nothing to show for it. Uh, I have no idea what that was all about. That is really strange, actually, but all right, so be it. Let's make our way back on home. I have no idea why I had that marker there, but I guess I did. Oh man, we got quite the trek back to this Jeep. And there lies our trusty steed that is, to be completely honest, been trying to get us killed all day. <laughs> Dude, like literally, first they goes on a quick little like SpaceX trip to the freaking International Space Station, then after that, I don't even know, just starts running me over, like rude. But yeah, we're gonna be knocking out some quests because they're, personally, I like the quests. I think this might be our first tier three quest, actually, because I think recently we have moved up in tier. And as we get higher tiered quests, the rewards get better. We get more experience. We get better rewards. We get more money. And those all will contribute towards the same goal of helping us progress and build up our base. And I mean, bro, the ultimate vehicle is within reason. Like, it is literally within our grasps. The mythical gyrocopter, aka, just for the sake of simplicity, helicopter. 
will actually be something that I think we're going to be able to do. Because I was looking at that recipe. All of those parts looked pretty reasonable. Like, everything looked like something that we ought to be able to do. And hello, warehouse storage. Yeah, this is a tier three quest indeed. Do. We got to find the White River supplies, baby. Ooh, plastic barrels. Nope, not what I was looking for over there. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting that gyrocopter. Like, definitely a little bit, little bit of a priority detour. We're going to focus on building that gyrocopter leveling up so we can continue building better stuff and again a quest are a good way of getting that experience so nothing up there so we can get uh the perks to craft up better things and we are literally i think one skill point away which is the ah, big thing one skill point away from crafting turrets on our own which is gonna be crazy look at how crazy it is that guy went flying into a chair that's how psyched out he was about just the levels of insanity we are about to reach dude uh, i hear footsteps all right let's toss uh, i'll honestly keep these goggles for now i'll clear the entire place out just for simplicity's sake and then i shall return kind of do like a return lap around where are you people are you in the roof oh no you're in the aisles i was gonna say it sounded like you're very close it was the one place i didn't think of I don't think this is like the bin. No, I didn't mean to do that. I forgot. They cannot loot these hello hole in the wall or ground, I should say. All right, YOLO. I'll loot up this floor before we go down into the hole because the Lord knows where that hole will be going to. Uh, we'll loot up this. We got our lucky goggles on, which is a nice little wearable item that improves the quality of the loot that we do find. Let's go. Weapon bag on it. Oh, that's a nice bow, dude. That's better than our bow, dude. Let's go, baby. You love to see it. Uh, goodbye to you. You're out of commission. Level five bow. Welcome to the squad. The toolbar squad. A pretty uh, prestigious group, I must say so myself. Cannot fit through that a little bit too thick. I got a sickness for the thickness, baby. Uh, we got the food pile here. Just some water. Uh, old sink. Oh, for some reason, the sink has some shotgun shells up in it. Coffee maker. I love you, baby. Oh, that is my lifeblood, I tell you what. Not that one in particular. That one looks a little bit suspicious and rusty. But, oh, baby, I love me a little bit of that coffee. And all right, we got a few more barrels here with, honestly, just a little bit of gas, which is always highly appreciated. The foul trash over here. And here's what I'm going to do. Goodbye to the leather. Hello to that. And then after this... Mm, I don't know if we're going to have time for it today, but I do want to make my way out west because we got a quest over there. And just like for the most part, there's actually a place. I think it's a pawn shop. I've wanted to loot up for a while. Pawn shops can have surprisingly good loot, but definitely knocking out the quest over there will be good. And that'll just hopefully help us uh, continue progressing exactly where we want to go, which is towards a much doper base. But I think we only need to continue getting some more concrete mix. I think, I think, I don't know if we have the highest level within reach quite yet of, uh, whatchamacallit, highest level of wall back at our base, but you gotta reckon we're close. We just got our first layer of concrete. I think we could use more concrete mix to reinforce the concrete. Concreteception, baby. And obviously building up more traps and turrets and stuff like that. All right. <gasps> tip, tip, cheerio. Cannonball into the hole we go. That's a locked door. That's not going to do us any good. Let's toss on the lucky goggles. Man, can I have goggles? Actually, I do wonder. Can I uh, just kind of... Oh, man. I wish I could just, like, tap the number in my inventory and it would, like, automatically change. I hear so many footsteps right now. I'm kind of terrified. Should I be terrified? And obviously, in case y'all don't know, I do like having the nerdy glasses on when we battle because plus 10% experience. That sounds like... Dude, is there, like, a horde rolling up? on the upstairs because that's kind of what it looks like and honestly as much as i love looting every single container that i come across this just appears like it's going to be kind of a big location terrifying noises maybe my game volume is just too high i always do that because there's not a lot of ambient noise in seven days today sometimes so i think ah! sometimes i might just crank up my volume a little too high bro zombies got murked up in here i tell you i tell you what there shiny jimba they did not have a fun time I'm having a fun time with this location, though. Well, not yet, but I think it's going to get pretty fun because there is a shooting range. You got to imagine they're going to have, oh, baby, some of the goods. Oh, I had the wrong glasses on. My glasses. No. Oh, ammo. 
Love to see it. Let's reload our extended mag SMG, which by the way, seriously got some awesome weapon mods. Hello, gun safe. I got locks. Will they work today? Time will tell. Me and locks, honestly, I've literally tried to open one of these things before, blown through like 20 locks before. So hopefully history doesn't repeat itself, but history has a tendency of repeating itself, dude. I don't want to jinx it or anything, but this is going. Let's freaking go, baby. <gasps> Mama, I love the modifications. Ain't nothing gonna stall going like some good weapons and weapon mods. Hello, janitor's cart. Mm, I expected better out of you, janitor's cart, but I'll let it slip. You have good water, quality water down here. Say okay. And all right, can't open that up. And back to the upstairs we go. Man, I'm just excited to get back to that trader now. Because uh, before we go back to the trader to turn in this quest, because we always do need to go to the trader to turn in a quest at the end of the day, we are 150. Oh my god, the noise is. 150% going to, uh, I, I, I can't think of the words. Ooh, oh, that was a lot of oil, actually. What was that, seven? That's like a blade trap. That's enough raw resources of oil to build a blade trap. And that's one of the resources we've been having a huge struggle with. So I love to see it. Um, What was I saying? Oh my God, what was that noise? Big mad somewhere. Let's go ahead and learn that, by the way, too, but... I had a train of thought, bro. That train of thought got completely derailed. That's A-OK. -okay. Probably wasn't the most important train of thought in the world anyways. Oh, yeah. Uh, before, we got to go to the trader anyway to turn in this quest. So it's going to be a win-win. We'll just kind of grab some money, money, money and purchase a gyrocopter. And maybe anything else that catches our eye, tickles our fancy. Is there no zombies up here? I knew those two were gonna be true. Get out of your face. Oh, what's that? You don't you don't like having a face either. Please allow me to assist. Okay, hold on. The job is not done. The job is still not done. The job is not finishing. Come on, job. Finish up here a little bit. Okay, come on. Your face is still intact. Okay. Desperate times. Call for desperate measures. And there we go. We got the twofer. Two for two, not the two for one. Two for one is lovely and mythical as it is. We did have to use two bullets to get the desired result. Where are all these office workers coming from, bro? Were you guys just lurking in your cubicles? Filing away some papers? What is it, the end of the quarter? What's got you so busy? I don't know, man. I do not know. Oh, you know what I do know, though? Uh, scrapping up some of these might net us some goods like we're getting some electrical parts right now bro yeah i should be using my wrench a little bit more often because uh it does net some quality in that bottom right hand corner y'all can see we're getting quite a lot of electrical parts thanks to the power of the wrench all hell the wrench oh i'm a little bit surprised i wasn't i wasn't actually expecting anything to be hidden in there that one looked like it might be a bit tough. The bags below us, I complete, I missed where the bag is that we came here for in the first place. I'm bamboozled, bro. Uh, maybe this thing will go full circle and we'll figure it out. Nothing behind there. Lots of, dude, this is quality water we're finding. Like literally, this is such good water. 15% uh, stamina regen plus 15% efficient digestion. So we get more hunger when we actually eat. It's got some pretty cool side effects, broski. Um, besides that, I mean, we got this over here I could scrap. And again, we're just getting electrical parts. But now that I bring it up, I think the main thing we need right now is actually more so mechanical parts, man. I genuinely believe mechanical parts might be what is required. All right, though. Let's, uh, let's uh, head out top side here and see what this is all about, yeah? Oh, man. The third floor we are now. Hello? Oh, that's terrifying. Hello, turd floor. There's even more above us. Oh my goodness gracious. Ah, noises. These things literally emerge from like, oh, he's running at us. Ah, no die. All right. I always, I always let my guard down. And next thing you know, a feral's all up in my grill. Get out of my grill, bro. It still requires a scrubbing. All right. Oh, hello, feral. Ah! Feral no more! Feral be gone! The hit new products coming from Star Snipe Industries. What's that? It looks just like a shotgun? I don't know what you're talking about. That's the brand new Feral Be Gone invention brought to you by 
Star Slamp Industries, the leading industry in inventions or something like that. What am I trying to do right now? Oh, that's what I'm trying to do. There we go. Even I was questioning myself for a second. Like, what? what is up, bro? And... Man, we still gotta figure out where that duffel bag is because the quest we're doing right now, number one, we gotta clear out the entire area of zombies. Number two, we gotta find a special loot bag with special loot inside of it. Hello, all safe. Not bad, Granatas. I noticed. Very good, very good. Does the office chair have anything good? Yo, 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 yo. The office chair has mechanical parts? Hold up. Hold up, hold up, come one, come all off his chairs to your flippin' doom. I have been kind of running short on mechanical parts. I never thought I'd see the day that I'm begging for the mercy of office chairs. Yet here we are, office chairs, baby, won't you come my way? I really need you in my life today. And oh my god, I hear so many zombies. It's kind of terrifying. Um, I'll scrap up some of these. Ooh, that one's kind of worth keeping. I will scrap most level one things I end up scrapping. They're not really worth it. We'll consolidate our inventory a bit here. I'm truly hearing horrifying amounts of noise. That sounds like there's a decent amount of zombies somewhere out for blood or brains. One of the two B words. And all right, we finished looting that up. Can I loot this? I'm surprised I'm not getting like electrocuted by this thing. Uh, we're getting electrical parts, but man, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think electrical parts is what I'm short on. Like, utterly and genuinely, I need mechanical parts in my life. Do these things have mechanical parts? Whenever you guys, like, in case you guys are confused too, just to kind of clarify, whenever I'm kind of looting and breaking into things, uh, where you should be looking for what we collect is actually the bottom right-hand corner. Uh, that's an awful bow. That's an awful spirit. Literally, that duffel bag is a caveman duffel bag. Uh, in the bottom right hand corner is actually hey we got it mm. yeah I, I know there was a floor below us with a lot of stuff we'll make our way over there no worries oh what is that down there that's where we gotta go next oh that's where the ruckus is coming from well please allow me to assist i might not have a silencer on here but uh, hey i'm still pretty good at silencing things namely the zombies cows in this ruckus oh hello duffel bag Eh, a bone shiv? Bro. Weak sauce McGee. Uh, speaking of mechanical parts, does this thing drop mechanicals? Oh, it does. It gotta love some air conditioners, baby. I'm sorry, zombies, if you're trying to keep a little bit cool in the summer heat, but I need it. Seriously, because I vaguely recall needing a lot of mechanical parts because the blade trap requires 10 of them per trap. So literally from this adventure alone, we found enough mechanical traps, not mechanical traps, mechanical parts for one such item. Now I did see some zombies down here. Hello, Zambi, are you taking a shower, dude? Oh my, I'm sorry for interrupting. I will show myself the door. Hello, zombie, welcome to my bathroom. What is this? Did my gun just jam? What was that all about? He did a little, like, little, little double take there. Bathroom, you got anything good? The fancy toilet is simply fancy. Nothing else. I hear lots of noises. I actually hear some kind of quick sounding zombies. Man, I love shotgun rain. How can you not, you know? Back to the lucky goggles. And back to the goodies. Yeah. Oh, this nightstand's untouched? I'll take that. Little extra, but YOLO. Sometimes you gotta be a little extra, boys and girls. Nice, gotta love the gas from there. A strange microwave. That's not mechanical parts. And again, mechanical parts is the main thing we're keeping an eye out for. Hello, zombie noises. How you doing? Oh, there's the courier satchel. Yeet! Goodbye to your face. So yeah, we need this. Actually, it looks like zombies broke their way into here. <laughs> They're just through that little back door. Hilarious. Uh, I will get rid of... Oh, no, 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 no! My goodness gracious! Oh, I just look like a freaking Mario bop on some of their heads, dude! <laughs> They're the Goombas! They're the Koopa Troopas! They just bopped on top of them. We still gotta continue going up, by the way. What I was gonna say is I can scrap some of these clothes and... Oh, I didn't have some clothes on at all. How did... I, I, I've never had pants on this entire time. Goodness gracious. 
I'm an animal. Am I not at a shirt? No, I've had a shirt. That might just be a visual glitch then. All right, whatevs. Regardless, let's get to scrapping a few of these things that we probably are not in the most desperate need of, including, unfortunately, oh, dude, that's such a cool cowboy hat, but I'm sorry, cowboy hat. You're gonna go, baby. You're gonna go. Some of these clothes, I mean, some of these clothes are kind of worth selling, but eh. Okay, yeah, bean bag, skull cap, you're definitely going, chief. Courier bag, White River supplies. Yes, Th those are things now. Ooh, who got the gas for this? Oh, baby, look at that. Look at that bottom right hand corner. Look at what our inventory is picking up from these bags. Yeah, that's a little bit of cement. One of the key ingredients in concrete. This is a warehouse full of the stuff, bro. This is, it's not what I knew I needed, but I don't even know if I necessarily needed it, but I'm taking it. I'm taking this to the bloody bank, baby. So yeah, this room is about to get freaking de-cemented up the wazoo, at least until our auger breaks, because this thing's kind of just like the most efficient, in my opinion, because I think you're supposed to use like a shovel on these things technically. And I don't really have a shovel. I kind of use the auger as my go-to shovel slash drill or slash like mining machine. But we might be able to get all of this cement. So huge, huge resource run, man. Seriously, I am stoked with the way today's going. And we still have the huge loot stockpile at the end of this location. Like every location tends to have. So like we're only going up, baby. And it looks like all the cement. Oh, oh. This has cobblestone rocks. Bro! I never realized that the blue boxes have cobblestone rocks. Oh no! Okay, can I actually sledgehammer these things? That'd be kind of cool. I mean, we don't really get a lot, but... YOLO, bro. One power swing and we get something out of them. I'll take it. Might as well, right? Yeah, it's not as much as I was hoping for. Can I, like, do this to him? Maybe? Will, it, will we get more doing it this way? Actually, I think we do. You guys can see in that bottom right hand corner how much our uh, cobblestone supply is going up by with every hit. Man, nighttime is rolling up on us though. I just don't want to get caught out too late that night here, but no tid. I know I got some gas over at our uh, pickup truck or whatever, but I'm a little bit on the stubborn side, so I'm just going to let that be. Because I'm not trying to run up and down a whole ton. We do have a little bit of parkour we got to knock out here, by the way, but let's go, man. Nice little... This little pick me up on cobblestone rocks and on cement. If I'm not mistaken, I think we need cobblestone rocks for the concrete recipe too, right? No, just cement. Well, okay, cobblestone rocks are still good. They're a pretty important tool, but all right. Uh, ooh, anything? Oh, let's go! We're back in the gas game, baby! Uh, seven days to die, loot gods. Thank you for listening to me on this blessed day and giving me the means with which to harvest even more. Yeah, we just got 35 rocks out of doing it that way, so definitely better bang for your buck. Man, I really should have looted the freaking gas barrels that was right next to us before getting all melodramatic. So yeah, we're gonna make our way to that ladder, but first things first, ah! Okay, because I think this flooring, yeah, that flooring's just waiting to collapse. I was gonna say, sketchy area here, but with sketchy areas come loot. And also, maybe something on the other side of this? Maybe? Come on, swing, baby, swing! I'm still suspicious, dude. No, that is way too big of a barrier. They usually hide things behind more breakable items. I don't think there's anything hidden over there. Nighttime continues encroaching upon us. Hmm, most unfortunate indeed. Nothing over here for us, and up the ladder we go. I don't know what awaits at the top, but we're going in. <gasps> ah! Anything? No, surprisingly peaceful for now. Wait, we're on a roof. Are there birds? Listen, I've been playing enough seven days to die to know that with rooftops come birds. With birds come terror. For now, though, I'm not terrified yet. Oh, solar panels. I do hear some zombie noises. Oh, no. That's a rad zombie, yo. Oh my. Goodness gracious, look at it. Look at it in all of its terrifying beauty. 
that is an irradiated zombie. I'm pretty sure that can absolutely mess us up. So hopefully we can headshot it in its sleep. Okay, well, that thing is completely dead. Birds! Not the birds! Not the birds! Shotgun raid! No, shotgun raid was ready to go! Dude, I'm so happy we managed to one-shot that thing. You guys, if you guys are paying attention to how much experience we got for killing that, that killing that thing gave us 1,600 experience. By far and away, most experience we've gotten yet. Hello, what is this hole in the ground? I don't know. I'm intrigued. I like it. Uh, and I also like... Oh, that's a landmine. I don't like that. I like that when it's protecting my base. I don't like that when it's potentially somewhere where my foot's going to step on it. I guess my base technically could be a place like that too, but you, you know what I mean. I don't like landmines that I don't place, but check it out, dude. These air conditioners, prime example for more mechanical parts. And then those solar panels, I think we'll be able to loot. And then we still have that giant loot stockpile that I've been hyping up and hopefully not completely wrong about. There's, there's something down here, right? Now again, just yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah. Why you do this to me? Okay. Yeah, can we break this down and get some good stuff, though? Are these solar panels? Electrical parts. If we don't get anything good besides electrical parts, I will probably just pass. Oh, hello. Something just got pooped out. Forged iron. Oh, a lot of it. Well, hello. In that case, I will um, scrap this tin can. Hello, forged iron. Get in my belly. Happy to pick up some of those. Free iron? I'll take it. We'll put that towards the blade trap supply. And here we go. The last of the solar panels is about to be absolutely decimated. I can't wait till hopefully we can actually build some of those and hook them up into our own electrical system. Because I do think that those do work. I just think we got to like buy them from a trader or something. This is a terrifying location. I got a feeling, you know, just very, very. Oh, never mind. Not that lot of zombies that look like they want to eat our faces off surprisingly friendly i love the customer service here and hello to this magical room ladies and gentlemen boys and girls exactly what we've been hyping up let's get the lucky goggles on it's time for us to get to looting let's pick the lock of this chest and let's hope that well we've done it because y'all can see in the top right hand corner we finished our quest here. We just got to return to the trader. Now we got to pick up that airdrop on the way back too. We got a few little doodads we got to do like that. Reinforced chest. Come on. Actually, that's that's level five. That's pretty solid stuff right there. I'll get rid of some of these doodads here that aren't really the most valuable if you ask me. Mm, like cloth. Yeah, I'll just get rid of some of the cloth. I'll get rid of some of these not so valuable things. Level one stun baton. Yeah, see ya, bro. I don't I don't need a level one weapons. They don't sell for a lot. They're mainly just worth scrapping. Weapons bag. Eh, speaking of level ones. Hey, level one pistols. How you doing? Get out of here. Yo, a real baseball bat. I'm not sure I have ever stumbled across a real baseball bat in seven days to die before. Kind of bloody cool, if you ask me. And an extended magazina. Hmm. I will get rid of the old sham sandwich. Your sacrifice will not be in vain. You will let me store more stuff into my inventory at some point. And let's make sure that we got the light on, because nighttime is rolling up on us. Let's break in all the boxes and let's see what they got. No way me, no way me, no way me, no way me, no freaking. What is that? Bounce moon boots? Bouncy boots? What are these? What are those? Like, actually, what, what are they? Also, if we do want to save an inventory room, for some reason, I can put the Grave Digger mod on a stun baton. Big brain, big brain. I will stun the, the dirt. I will stun the dirt, and it will be terrified of me. Big brain. We only big brain here, baby. Hello? What was that? Trigger group full auto? I don't even uh, entirely know what that does. Can I put that on this? No, that makes sense. It's a single shot weapon, but... Full auto trigger group. Yeah. Uh, well, we can put that on certain things, I think. Ooh, the triple storage pocket also. And with that terrifying noise, nighttime has arrived. Um, yeah, bro. Padded leg armor. You gotta go. Triple storage pocket mod. You gotta get in my belly because you're freaking dope. And the final box. Yeah, really nothing all that great. Well, that's A-OK. -okay. I kind of want... Eh. Yeah, uh, those things do sell for a few bucks each. I'll get rid of the single painkiller, man. I got plenty of those back at home. Hello, steel knuckles and baseball bat part. Mm. Oh, I have idea. I will put the press boy cap into this helmet. 
Ho oh, ho ho! Now it will look like a press boy helmet. And man, there are still some office chairs in this building that ah, I kind of want to go and loot up. And I actually believe they are whoop. Right here? No, that's where we were before. A uh, little bit earlier, I think, maybe this floor. Definitely do not want to miss out on a lot of these office chairs and maybe even these stools. No, I don't think the stools give mechanical parts, but 100%, dude. All of these office chairs. We do have zombies coming our way, too. Gotta be a little bit careful. Those are just mechanical parts waiting to be farmed. So I'm gonna go and get to farming these. And then, well, when we return next time in seven days to die, we will be making our jolly way back home. We'll stop by the airdrop. I'll drop some stuff off at home. And then we got a trip to the trader. And I'm gonna be completely honest. There's a good chance we might be able to build the gyrocopter next episode. No cap whatsoever. So while I sit here shivering in fear at all the zombies I hear below me, when we return, we got some goodies coming your way. But with that said, with that done, that's going to go to Starbreak and end to this episode of Seven Days to Die. Thank you guys a whole time for watching. Have yourselves an awesome one, and I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.